Good morning. All right, so um, great to be in Dallas. A little bit of uh, fun fact, I spent 15 years of my life here. And it's, uh, it's amazing every time I come back here how this city grows and morphs into much bigger things. And uh, last night I was just taking a walk after I landed. You can't recognize the uh, legacy anymore. It's, it's pretty awesome. All right. And uh, TM Forum, thanks for the opportunity here. It's a great crowd. And uh, I'm sure what, uh, what was mentioned in the previous session on 5G it will be a great segue into what we are going to talk about in this section right now. All right, so we're talking about AI. And uh, before we get deeper into this, uh, one of the things that we want to also consider is what is the need for AI? And why do, we, why do we have to use AI in a traditional telco? And you know the traditional telco stack, like was shown before, is you have your ordering and your billing and your activation, provisioning, dispatch, everything else on the wireline and the wireless side. Uh, but everything changes now. Everything changes now with 5G. Everything changes now with what we want to um, put our customers uh, through in terms of experience. So if you backtrack and start from why do we need AI, I think it becomes a much better case on why AI is not an option, but it's a mandatory thing for us to do. So what do, what do customers expect from us today? Customers expect an experience that is flawless, that is experience, uh, an experience that is on demand, and that is um, an experience that they expect to have on their terms when they want it, how they want it. And it, it's expected to be one-on-one. -on -one. It's expected to be highly personalized. Uh, they want to have seamless continuity across the various touch points in their, um, in their uh, journey with the company they interact with. Um, they expect flawless uh, service, loyalty, and all of this is something becoming a table stakes item for the experience itself. So it's not, it's not an option for us because the amount of data we have about the customers, the customers expect us to be smarter with the data that we have and serve them before they even want to be served. They expect us to know the needs, they expect us to predict and proactively serve their needs even before they ask us about what they want from us. And just this problem statement that we think about, you cannot do it with the traditional technologies that we have. What, what this requires is a wholesale reinvention of the business. It is not just about AI in our IT stack. We can put in AI as deep as we want in our IT stack, but unless the business changes and adapts to how the AI technologies will serve our customers, it's not going to meet the needs of our customers. So um, AI is going to necessitate a wholesale reinvention of the IT stack for sure. But what AI will also necessitate is a wholesale reinvention of the business model and the organization also. So having said that, how do we need, how do we need to may transform the business itself to meet AI and meet the customer experience requirements? And uh, if you look at this, today in our traditional businesses, we have multiple touch points our customers. You have digital and digital is a fact of life. Digital transformation is no longer the uh, thing to go after because it's past. What we need to look is what is in the future, look ahead on what the customers are expecting from us in digital. Store experience, store experiences are expected to transform into more physical plus digital. Digital is the new term. Customer service, customers are used to talking to bots. Bots are a fact of life. Although a lot of people are on the fence on how, how much is the experience with the bots, but conversational UI is becoming a fact of life. You, start an you look at an electronic item on your desk, everybody wants to talk to the electronic item on the desk. So conversational UI is a fact of life, and the bot learns, listens and learns. And that is, uh, that is, also, a, our nature, that is also an avenue and a channel for our business that we need to tap into. Then they want, last thing customers want is ubiquitous experience. They expect us to know where we are, when we are, and they expect us to know how they are working with us and everything around them in their life. And any channel they approach us in digital, in physical, or in customer service, 
They want us to be uh, a seamless end-to-end -end provider, knowing what their needs are. So this, if you look at it, necessitates a complete reinvention of the business model itself. Our store agents need to be trained on new things. Our call center representatives need to be trained on new things. Our digital teams need to be trained on new experiences, and the customer experience on these channels need to be morphed. So it's an end-to-end journey that needs to be re rethought. And AI, like I said, not just is a reinvention of the IT stack, but a complete reinvention of the uh, business models itself. So how do we go about doing this? How are we doing this in Verizon? The first thing we do is revisit our traditional AI organizations. And the key word is organization, not the AI architecture. We are changing our entire model and transforming into a newer model of uh, organization. And traditional ITs could do one of three, one or, one or two of three, efficiency, speed, or innovation. But what now is a mandatory thing for all IT organizations to do is to do all three. It's not a choice. You need to be efficient, you need to have high speed to market, and you need to innovate constantly. And the combination of all three is what will provide the experience that we aspire to for our customers. And you know, on the left side you see here, rising customer uh, expectations, evolving technology, hyper-competitive market. But evolving technology is the um, key to everything. You're seeing a confluence of compute, storage, public cloud, plus software, algorithms, everything come together. What was once a theoretical item is now a practically implementable uh, thought. And the confluence of all of this is what is gonna make AI a possibility for us. So what's the solution here? The solution here for us to transform the experience is scaled AI. And the terminology scaled AI, um, I'm not sure if it is a common terminology, but right now the way we see it is, it is not an option to have AI in one pocket in a corner of the IT stack that is working hard to transform the experience. But rather, every part of the IT stack and the business need to have AI into it. It's the new Java, it's the new Microsoft ASP, it's the new .NET. So it has to be pervasive across the, across the um, infrastructure. You heard in the previous session, it has to be on the network. We use AI in 5G for, in order for, our, for the customers to be qualified. We use AI in terms of this, building the systems of insight for us to provide data insights to our frontline employees as well as to our channels to serve our customers. We use AI to be more personal and cognitive about the customer's needs. So scaled AI is the key to all of this. And the, and the key word here is scaled because again, AI, by in AI working with the data in the traditional data warehouse is not a scalable model for us to provide the experience we aspire for. Okay. How do we do this? We need to rethink our architectures uh, that we implement in the, uh, in the IT stack. You had, the, I still uh, think the previous picture was a very great segue for what we want to talk here. Although it applied to 5G, I would argue that it applies to everything. You had OSS, you had your BSS, but we had to rethink the way we draw the traditional IT boxes. You have an Omni platform that interacts and is all all knowing about the customer at every touch point. You have an infrastructure that has to be modified from a private data center that serves monolith applications or a traditional client server architecture into a public cloud architecture that can scale on demand. You need to re retrain and reskill the entire workforce so that AI becomes a fabric in the organization rather than a niche skill that is very private and that is possessed by a few in the organization. Unless we have all three working together, it's not possible to scale AI. And it might be a little counterintuitive here, but bringing AI to the table is not just about writing new models and new, new algorithms. <coughs> bringing AI to the table is about rethinking the entire organization. It's about rethinking the entire stack, soup to nuts, and end-to-end -end, um, transformation. 
So how are we going to do this? The first thing, we have to revisit our platforms that serve our customers. Today you have channel-centric applications, and that's traditionally how telcos have grown. Um, we are no longer a traditional telco. We have to morph into an experience company, and we need to provide the best experience on whatever networks our customers want to be, be it wireless, wireline, 3G, 4G, 5G, anything that you can think of. So we need to have omni journeys that, go, that are going to serve our customers on every touch point. Personalization is going to be the key. Building on insights platform, that's the core to the whole thing. You have a Omni Journey platform, but the Omni Journey platform can only do 50% of the work without being powered by an insights platform. The insights platform that runs on top of the data and that can scale on demand is going to be the key for us to provide the experiences and the outcomes we desire. Conversational UI is, it, is, is a fact. Today, you can provide multiple experiences on any device that the customers want, and you can provide human-like experiences on any, any call center that the customers call into. 5G network, 5G convergence, with everything coming together, AI is going to be key for us to provide the omni experience that the customers uh, desire. Infrastructure. You can't understate the need for um, great infrastructure for us to provide AI experiences. For AI to work, you need enormous compute power. You need massive storage. And these, these are critical elements for any AI uh, platform to function to the expectations that we have. We all know that AI has been in existence for a few decades. But the, but the reason, the main reason why AI never came to the forefront of everything we do is infrastructure. We didn't have the ability to process enormous amounts of data real time, go through multiple models and multiple uh, algorithms to provide the right experience to our customers real time. So infrastructure is going to be a key enabler for us to provide this experience that we want. Although having said that, we need to make sure that the compliance aspect is catered to as well. You have all the regulations coming out right now in California, in GDPR, and I'm pretty sure the rest of the nation is going to follow suit as well. So having the right privacy laws implemented, having uh, data available real time, having the ability to process the data real time and serve it to the channels that interact with the customers is going to be key for us. And infrastructure needs to be holistically rethought from on-prem to public cloud to data protection, this is, this is going to be a key enabler for scaling AI. Having said all of this, the most important thing is about people. Now, we go through it in um, multiple training programs, multiple options in our organizations. Employees want to reskill themselves in a lot of areas. Employees want to have um, newer technologies on their uh, fingertips. However, we need to rethink how we are structured as well. We need to rethink how we are investing in our employees and ensuring that the employees are getting the right skills um, in, their, in, their, um, in their arsenal for us to serve the AI needs of the customer. If you look at, if you look at all the areas that we want to focus on, you have AI by design. You have communities of practice that we have to create to ensure uh, the skills and the qualifications of our employees meet the needs of our customers. Lastly, we need to build a constantly learning culture. Because the key is, unless, unless we have our employees looking at this as, a, as an evolving model, we are not going to be able to keep up with the innovation that happens in the ecosystem. Now, one thing I'll also tell here is that it is key for, uh, for whatever solution that we implement to be able to interact and adapt and plug into the new innovations that are happening in the market. A lot of solutions pop up every day. Numerous companies and startups come up every day with niche solutions using AI. And the ability to integrate these solutions as well via a slick architecture is going to be key for us. And as we think about the innovation angle of this, 
it is important that the people that we have traditionally in our organizations also can adapt to innovation internally as well as bring in the innovation that happens externally into the architecture. So innovation and training and investment in our people is going to be key for us to provide engaged, empowered and a future ready talent that will actually serve the needs of the customer. So where do we go from here now? From here, the next step for us is to rethink how we want to redesign the business around all the technologies that we are working on. We are in a transformation path here and in the middle of a journey that will take us a few years. And as we relook at our customers' um, needs and as we relook at our traditional um, architectures, it's a, it's a fabric that we need to redesign and weave into everything that we do. So every customer, every employee needs to be powered by AI. And when I say that, one of the big things that is the um, need of the hour is also looking at how can we not just apply AI in our interactions with our customers, but also how do we create twins and digital twins of our own employees so that our employees are also learning as we go. So we learn about our employees, we learn about our customers, and we need to make sure that all these technologies that are available today are applicable to the experiences we want to deliver to our customers. Digital twin is going to be a big item here. Digital twins were applicable to machines, but as we look at where we want to go, the next thing that's going to happen is how we apply digital twins to our employees and our customers as well and bring this um, ecosystem together. What is the next thing we need to do? Automate to drive creativity and productivity. And when we look at how we want to build our infrastructures, our core infrastructure needs to be today um, very AI-centric. The traditional ways of monitoring, traditional ways of delivering experiences in our environments for the customers are going to be morphed into a very AI-centric experience. And when we look at how we want to build systems, we need to make AI a core part of our environments in the ability to keep the system up and running 24 by 7. There is no more downtime available optionality for our customers. Organization structure to scale AI, like we discussed. Rethink at the solution of your org charts. How we need to rebuild our organizations to ensure that our teams are able to scale. We have the right skill sets. We have the right people at the right places to deliver the right experiences and who can implement the new organizations effectively. Collaboration is going to be key. We need to ensure that the traditional organization structures are revisiting the ways they collaborate with the various members of the other parts of the organization. Design AI into every process and customer experience. So today, as we look at where we stand with our experiences, it is mostly on the, on the customer's needs when the customer asks us to be served. However, what we are looking at is, as we discussed, how we serve our customers without the customer asking us to be served. We need to be proactive. We need to be at the customer's uh, doorstep before the customer wants us uh, to be served and re rethink about the traditional channels of engagement. So having said all of this, um, I'm going to give back a lot of time here. Having said all of this, the need and the way to think about this is digital transformation is a thing of the past. Where we are headed now is into the algorithmic age. And algorithms are going to decide upon how we are going to provide the experiences we aspire to for our customers. And every organization that we need to uh, build into our traditional IT um, structures needs to have AI as a core fabric for us to be able to scale AI, right? And that's the journey we're all on. And um, at Verizon, it's a journey that we are in the middle of. And um, this is going to be key for the 5G experiences we want to deliver as well as we scale 5G.